Welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017, and we're very excited to have in the studio with us today. Pew, pew, pew. Take it away. What no, they don't mean to say. When they're in muscles, they're not in vain. You're back. Come on, stop the fucking face. This skateboard is that way without a little pain. It's a bad decision. On an afternoon drunk. Have to go to the hospital. Let's go in the pants. 
Audio Chew Live with Pew Pew Pew. The boys, thank you guys so much for rolling through. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us. Thank Dude, you for anytime. The boys. Dude, anytime, anytime. I know you rolled up with uh, with Stroh's in hand, so I got to know, obviously, you guys live the lifestyle you kind of sing about, right? Kind of correct? We try to. Yeah? Okay, that's pretty accurate. What are some of your like favorite bars around Toronto or like dive bars or places to go to drink and kind of let loose? The park. The park? <laughs> the park's a big one. Yeah. Like the physical park, or is there physical. a place called the park? Okay, okay. Yeah, physical like park. The area. Physical park. Several. <laughs> in there Toronto. are several. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how they are with like drinking laws, but I know I've heard so, it's kind of strict. I've been there a few times, but I know I can only get it at certain places at certain times. How does that work out? Uh, yeah, the LCBO and the beer store. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are their hours like? Not great. Open it's until cool. nine, except on Sundays, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not freedom. Yeah. It's no, not for you. It's not, for Although, it's not like here. Yeah, there are some craft breweries popping up that have more reasonable hours, but okay. more expensive beer. Too. Oh, I see, so, I see. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few places I, I went to when I was in Toronto. One I enjoyed a lot that had, like, decently priced beer was the Smiling Buddha. Do you guys ever oh, go yeah, there? Yeah. Always, yeah. Yeah, I Great love spot. that place. Have you played there at all? Is we that have. A, have you? Okay, cool. Times, yeah. how, how were the shows? I The ones we played there was amazing. It was wild. It was crazy. A lot yeah, of people. and people were awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great crew. Heck yeah. They're, yeah, they're good awesome over there. Yeah, I feel like even like the people that work there and the people that come there all have like the same mindset of just having fun and kind of letting loose. Yeah. For sure. Which is cool. You don't see that too often everywhere you go. Yeah. So that's rad. Yeah, we did a release show and they uh, like ordered us pizza and stuff. Just that's really cool. Yeah, they've always been really Hooked good to us. Up. That's really, really cool. Are there other bands like coming out of Toronto right now that like you've, you've been playing with or that you've been listening to that we should kind of check out? Yeah. I mean, always. We've yeah. like our buds are in Pup. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Got, you've done stuff you with know, them before. Yeah, yeah we did a session with them for yeah, sure, yeah. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, yeah, they kill it. They did pretty good. Uh, didn't you just share a space with them at one point? Was that true? Yeah, yeah, before yeah we time. did at our, our friend Vince's house. Oh, it was at a, it was a house, yeah, so yeah. it wasn't like an actual, okay, yeah, cool, Yeah, we cool. share the basement. <laughs> That's really rad. And you, have you guys done some stuff with them, like tours, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. we hit the road with them in, uh, in <laughs> June of last year, I guess, and that was sort of our first time uh, coming into the States at all. Brad. So that was fun. Uh, we did some stuff with them in October as well, just heading out to the east coast of Canada. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, they're always fun to hit the road with. They're That's good guys. super cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. did you guys start around the same time, kind of the same scene coming up, or were, did you just find each other randomly, or how did that all work out at the beginning? We found them, like, maybe six years ago now. Okay. Yeah. We just see, like we're similar randomly? kind of people. Yeah. Okay. So we just got along really well, and we've just, we just hang out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Been been years. Years. Just hang out. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, sounds great. You guys can roll on that next song whenever you're ready. Sure thing. Cool. Thanks. Cool. This one's about skateboarding. <laughs> I hope I don't care 
saying it i could just say it over and over like it's so much fun um earlier you were talking you mentioned about some craft brewery staying open a little bit later um didn't you guys work with a craft brewery to do like a beer or a label or something like that how did that come about and there's a brewery in uh, hamilton ontario which is like okay. an hour west of toronto um called collective arts cool and they'll do like art local art musicians whatever they'll like put a label on the beer okay. and just like put one of those uh, whatever codes that you scan with your phone yeah. and you, it'll bring up like a song or whatever. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, it's super cool. And then um, did you get to, get to pick the art and do you get to pick the beer or how does yeah, that all come Mike on? actually found a picture of our old guitar player, Jordan, throwing a beer under or throwing a football underwater with oh. a beer. Yeah, that's crazy. It was cool a cool picture. On too. <laughs> that he is looks really, awesome. Really cool. What kind of beer was it? I just got a curiosity. Uh, it's like a. I think it's an IPA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I, good. Rhyme and reason, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I ever found one because they they do this cool thing where they do like multi packs. Oh, and, uh, oh. You kind of. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'll have to get one of those there from you. you. <laughs> but yeah, they you sort of get what you get. But yeah. it's neat because you get sort of a selection of art and music that's kind of going on in the area. That's um, really cool. It's, it's neat. Yeah. And then you scan that, and then you can download the song, or does it? Did you guys get to pick the song as well? How did that come about? I don't really recall how <laughs> what the song was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe they pick. Did they? Okay, cool. Yeah, like <laughs> I pup did one too, and there's like art, actual <laughs> visual art too that okay. they do. That's yeah. awesome, Brad. Like local and, artists, so. and I saw like uh, that, that one of the songs you were playing there, the mid twenty skateboarder. I saw that Ovi Beer. Like, didn't they like repost <laughs> or use like a part of the video for their advertisement? Or how did that come about as I well? I think they tweeted at us. Didn't yeah, they? yeah. Did I've they? been okay. pretty relentless on them on Twitter. Yeah, just yeah, hitting just, them over and over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got an Ov guy. Yeah, we. Got oh, do you got a guy <laughs> now? Yeah. That's cool. And then he like just reposted the video, or did he like do a snip or how? I, I think like a picture from it, or, like a still or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's done it a few times now. So. That's a really cool dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see like actual like like result from that? Did people you think went and watched the video or like actually checked it out? Or do they have a huge presence? I'm not sure. Uh, no, they don't. don't but yeah. I think it could be bigger. You know, it's yeah. a cool one. It was my grandpa's beer. Oh yeah. hell yeah! It's gotta come back. It's been it's around for as yeah. It's been around awesome a long time. In Canada. In Canada. Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't even. I don't think I've even seen it around here. Is it a Canadian oh, no, really? beer or where is it from? I don't know. I it's Wilson. Oh, so, oh yeah. is it? Okay. Probably, yeah. yeah. Probably Canadian then. Cool. Uh, and while you guys are on tour with these like longer drives, do you ever hit any breweries? Do you ever like you know check out any places? We have, or? yeah, yeah. yeah. Some um, ratio in uh, right in Denver. Denver. Cool. That place was really there, cool. That was great. Mm-hmm. We awesome. played our first acoustic set ever there. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. And it was and you got to drink <laughs> beer the whole time and play acoustic songs. Yeah, That's cool. the, fir- the first time we ever played acoustic guitars together <laughs> in front of people. Never there. before. Yeah. yeah was, never before. <laughs> How did it turn out? Year? Um, I think that it was like adorable. <laughs> That's a good not word bad. to describe not it, I good. guess. Right? <laughs> not good. Not bad though, right? Yeah, maybe not bad. Yeah. <laughs> acceptable is probably yeah, another acceptable. another word we could throw in. Yeah. Okay. We tried really hard. <laughs> yeah. I dig it, I dig it. All right, you guys can roll on that next one whenever you're ready. Cool. Cool, man. Small dreams, small town. I'm glad I'm not still around. Cause the townies don't grow, they just stay the same. They just wanna relive that high school fame. And that was always something that scared me. These could be the best days I'd ever see. But if those were your glory days, 
Well, I'm glad I wasn't around Yeah, for those were your glory days You must be real shitty now It's a mediocre rap that you never had it But you got a box race in Texas Those were your glory days I'm glad I wasn't around If those were your glory days You must be real shitty
You're watching Audio Tree Live with the pew, pew, pew. Killing it, guys. Killing it. I'm really digging it. Sounding nice. great in here, at least in my headphones. I hope you guys are cool. sounding great to yourselves as well. Feeling okay, good? cool, yeah. cool. All right, awesome, awesome. We are talking a little bit earlier about touring, and uh, I want to know what the experience was like touring with Anti-Flag and Real Big Fish. How did that come about, and what was it like? It was, uh, it was great, first of all. Like, yeah? Uh, an, a pretty unparalleled experience, I guess. Yeah. Um, Biggest rooms we've ever played by far. Yeah. Which yeah. was very interesting and awesome. And it was all in cities that we had never been to before either. Oh, so. wow, that's Yeah, we'd never cool. been yeah. out west. Out oh, okay, so cool. And was, and was it like kind of nerve-wracking, like walking out in front of that many people over and over again? Or did you guys get used to it, or how did that come out? You get used to it for sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe the first couple ones, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. But <laughs> just more. A little different, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely had to make a few adjustments, like, you know, Playing a big stage, you, you have, like, people doing your monitors, and, mm-hmm. like, if you don't ask for something, you don't necessarily get it, as opposed to, like, being sandwiched together and hearing everything all the time. Yeah, for you know? sure. Yeah. Uh, so we had a bit of a learning curve, but, I mean, mm-hmm. a few shows in, and it was pretty comfortable. It cool. was fun. Yeah. And, and did that come about, like, do you have, like, a booking agent? Did they reach out to you, or how did that whole thing play out at the beginning? Yeah, I guess uh, we have an agent, and okay, cool. I guess uh, they maybe reached out to him, or he got in touch with okay. them. Awesome. Um, yeah, it was it was awesome to to get offered something like that. Mm-hmm. And were they really good 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 guys to hang with? Yeah, they yeah. were awesome. Yeah, cool. Everybody was uh, really cool. Everybody was really cool. We got to know the anti flag guys really well. Yeah, yeah that's really right. Under their wing a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's really yeah, cool. it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I know with these those like out west obviously has like super long drives. For sure. And I heard you guys listen to, to like a football podcast sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, is yeah. that it? I talk. You want to talk football? Yeah, yeah. I think I kind of want to talk football. Like what? Do you guys like collectively have a favorite team or? Uh, I'm a pa- I'm a Packers fan, which is probably Ooh. not good to say in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've been one since I was a little kid. Yeah. So. How did that being from Canada? Like, did you like just stumble upon it on the like? How did that come about as well? I don't know. When I when I was a kid, Brett Favre won the Super Bowl. Okay. And I was like, oh, I like yeah. that team. So I guess yeah. I'm a bandwagoner from the start. But, <laughs> but you were a kid, though. You but can't. I was seven yeah. or something. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Canadians can pick whoever they want, though, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's, it's like, like they you don't get the Lions or the Bills. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Well, see, I'm from Detroit, know. so I'm, I have to do Lions, but it's like it's almost like an ashamed type of thing because it's they've <laughs> yeah, won one yeah, playoff game ever in the history of like the yeah. team. So so it's like kind of like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm a Lions fan type of thing. But, yeah, I guess between the Bills or them, there's not really – the, that much to choose from. Do you guys get into the CFL at all? Like, or no? no? <laughs> yeah, it is a kind of a different world. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I it's it's there for sure. It, <laughs> it's there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, like the step below, I guess. Like you know, a lot of the older players or people that are trying to get to the NFL. Yeah. Like that's kind of yeah. how I see it. But yeah, it's it's still fun and interesting, and the goalpost or the uh, field goalpost is pretty interesting too. Yeah, right at the front. Yeah, yeah like super tiny. Right <laughs> you can, yeah, it's really easy to run into. Cool. Yeah, yeah and the, uh, I like it. Do you all into the Packers, or is it just you? That's no, I'm an Eagles guy. Are oh, you an Eagles guy? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Pennsylvania. <laughs> that's rad. And do you guys watch as well, or is it just kind of like whatever for you guys? Uh, after you, go ahead. That'll move the chains. <laughs> yeah. That's about the extent of my football knowledge. That's, yeah. Well, it's pretty accurate. That does happen quite often. It makes for very, very fun and intense uh, van rides when that podcast is on. Oh, yeah? yeah. So you're just very sitting good back sleeps. there. <laughs> yeah. Long, long sleeps. I do enjoy the odd game, but I yeah. I don't really follow cool. too much. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys can run to those last two whenever you're ready. All right. This one's called Stop Calling Us Chief. You gotta stop, you gotta stop calling us. You gotta stop, you gotta stop calling us. You gotta stop, stop calling us Chief. You gotta stop, you gotta stop calling us. You gotta stop, you gotta stop calling us. You gotta stop, stop calling us Chief. Hey, who wants my dad? Who wants so loud? Hey, who wants my dad? Who wants so loud? 
Does the crushing defeat keep you up late at night? Oh, Kathy Lee Hoda, what's wrong with my life? It's the debt and depression decisions I've made. Fuck it, I'll worry about that shit some other day. Live with the boys. Thank you, pew, pew, pew. Thank you guys so much. Cool boys. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's no been great. Us. Yes, their self-titled record is out now, so you make sure you pick that up. Um, they have vinyl plans for the end of this year, kind of right. We have a special thing, but we can't say a whole lot about okay. it. Okay, cool, cool. We'll keep an eye out for that. <laughs> also, they're look out for special <laughs> yeah. things. Special things are on the way. So they're also going on tour for a few days. So catch them there. They're going to be playing fest as well at the end of this year. I also want to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, everyone here at Audio Tree who helps make this happen. We really appreciate all of you. And if you want to help support us and the band, you can do so by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see everyone next time.